So tonight we're going to be showing you a little video on the new Walcom 360 True Light Evo meter. It's the new gun light from Walcom that also measures distance from the panel. Which is quite a handy tool if you're training somebody new who isn't a qualified or competent painter. And it's something that obviously can be used to aid to give them training. Now the light itself has a digital display. It measures distance. So this is currently set for 12.5 centimetres from the panel. And as you go further away, it tells you you're too far away with an orange light. As you go back to the right distance, it says the right distance with a green light. And if you're too close, it goes red. So I myself don't need it, and most painters won't need that. But it's just something else that this gun light does. Now on the display itself, trying to keep this in focus for you, it does show you the amount of battery you have left and alternates to the brightness of the actual light because you can press and hold the button and dim the light down if you don't want it as bright and then press and hold the power button again to take it back to 100% now the light itself is a really good light it's very sturdy I believe an aluminium front light and then what looks like a composite plastic um, housing of the battery um, it's USB-C for charging, it comes with a USB-C cable, it also has a mount for a camera. Now how that will work and whether the weight will be right I'm not sure, I'm going to try that today. Um, I have actually bought a mount um, that will allow us to connect our DJI camera onto it. Now the mounts that come with these for mounting on various guns they just push on so that mount or should I say that rubber gasket allows it to push on to a series 2 Iowata which we use for our clear coat now if you like me you'll not use the same gun for everything so we have to switch the mount the slot in like that can be a bit fiddly but you get you get used to doing it and then we can fit it straight onto our dv1 base gun that we use it does come with three other size mounts as well which i'm guessing will be for a welcome gun sata gun and various others um it fits on all the guns i have with various gaskets um so i would have thought It'll fit most guns. There may be something it doesn't fit, um, but that I haven't found yet. I've got Devilbis, Iowata, Welcome guns. Um, it does fit all those. Now, the reason why I like this light over all the other ones I've used in the past, I've used various ones from various manufacturers, is the ease of fitting it to the gun and removing it from the gun. So when it's on the gun, it's mounted nice and solid but when you take it off your gun is plain there's nothing additional on there and you can clean the gun now with the previous lights I've used from an other manufacturer you have a bracket on the gun and you can't get to clean the gun properly without removing the bracket that has put me off using them because I just find it a bit of a faff to keep taking the brackets on and off they are very flimsy and with the welcome one you don't have that issue when it's on your gun it's on your gun when you take it off your gun you're back to a plain gun that you can just clean without any issues it also makes it easy to switch from gun to gun different manufacturer of guns if you use the same gun for everything it is literally pull it off and put it on the next gun you do have to change the rubber ring if you're using different guns for different jobs. In the box you also get a couple of sheets of protectors to go over the display and also to go over the sensor at the front for reading the distance. Additional to that you also get another light cover which just clips in. So you get some spares with it as well 
which is very good. So now we're in the booth. I've already panel wiped down off camera and I'm just giving it a final clean down with a tack cloth ready for the base coat. I'm looking forward to using this new welcome light, it's something I'm eager to test as I've previously used a Luma gun light and found it actually hinder visuals in some scenarios, which is a bit strange. I believe this to be down to the fact the light is on one side and doesn't give an even spread with the Luma light. This new welcome light is a 360 degree around the air cap light and therefore my logical thinking is it'll spread the light more evenly across the panel you're spraying rather than be to the left of it. So I'm hoping that's what I find. Also, while editing this video and watching back the footage, I can see the floor is in desperate need for another coat of grey paint. It looks horrendous. Now Natalie, my daughter, will be happy to know I'm giving her a roller and some grey paint next time she's in and we'll get that job sorted. We're using our DV1 Gambler Edition base coat gun for the base coat application and the Welcome 360 True Light attached. So straight away with this Welcome light, I can see I'm a lot happier using it but the, as the light is concentrated right where it should be and is a help rather than a hindrance. On the early coats of base coat, obviously you're not checking coverage as much as your final coat but it still does help to make sure you're getting an even coat on there and obviously as you get towards the end of your base coat on your second or third coat you can then see you've got full coverage and actually check with the light that you don't need to put any more on. On this job, our PPG Digimatch camera gave us a really good colour match, which is why we've gone edge to edge as such. Lower the number the better, so one being a perfect match and anything under eight is okay. This came out a two or a three, so I got brave and went edge to edge, and on this job it didn't bite me like it sometimes does. So this is where we'd usually get our scan light and turn the booth lights off and check coverage, make sure that the metallic looks right, it's not patchy, but we could use the, um, the new welcome light. So we've done that and to be honest with you, it's actually a brighter light than the handheld scan light that I've been using up until now. Um, obviously this is on the gun already, you've got the gun in your hand, you can check all your coverage. Um, you can check everything, make sure everything's fine before you put the clear coat on. Because once you put your clear coat on, there's no going back. It means a redo if there's anything wrong. So we've checked through everything and everything looks good. We're ready to put the clear on. So now we're off up into our paint room to mount the camera on the gun and see how that goes. It's a little bit left heavy with obviously the camera on the left of the gun. And I thought it may put me off the actual clear coat in a little bit but it actually were fine um, and I will use it again for filming going forward.
So we've now got the DJI action cam mounted on the Walcom gun light. It does feel a little bit left heavy as you would expect. But I'm going to go and try and do some filming while clear coating. So you can see how the light works and get some close up gun action. One thing I noticed when watching back the footage was with the camera mounted on the light and gun, set like I had it, you can see the distance lights as you're painting in what you're filming. So you can watch back your own footage and see how consistent you are with distance from the panel. I actually realised that it's something I can work on myself as I varied more than I thought I would. The job still come out really nice though, but you should always be looking to improve your game. So over the next few weeks I'm going to be looking at being more consistent with my distance from the panel and actually using the gun light distance meter while filming to measure how far away I am when I paint and what the sweet spot is and then kind of stick closer to it. So on starting the second coat of clear, I saw a few things that I weren't happy with. Bottom of the door wasn't a closed coat, so I went a little bit slow over that on the start of the second coat, just to make sure it was nice and smooth after. And in the rear quarter, I caught a fly. All painters hate to see a fly, but I had to get my tweezers out mid coat to remove it. And I managed to get it all in shot, which I was surprised at. And I didn't mean to do it, but then obviously watching the footage back, I had managed to keep the gun in a position that showed me getting the fly out with the tweezers. And I managed it one-handed on the second attempt, and we're glad we got that out. So it was at this point I saw the fly, so you'll now see me go over and get the tweezers and attempt to get the fly out.
So the question is, overall, do I recommend the Welcome 360 True Light Evo Meter? And the answer is yes. It's a very consistent light over what you're painting, with it going round the cap and the light being all the way around the air cap. The light spread consistently and evenly and gives you a good area of light in front of the gun, which some of the other lights I've used don't do. It's a lot easier to take on and off the gun so it's easier to clean your gun the quality of the build quality is great it has the addition of the meter on there so overall I would say yes so the job is finished it's not a perfect job it is only a trade job we have also got the back bumper to do and that will be done tomorrow but I wanted to get the video done and the panels on the actual Merc finished as you can see it's not a bad job at all there was a repair up there and there were repairs on the bottom of the door On the line which has not come out too bad at all I'm quite happy with that you'll have to excuse the sound of my feet sticking to the floor so another job well done